winning uh, becomes a habit, so I'm not real happy about losing. But uh, you know, we we put a real good push in at the end, and to come with no results, it's it's tough. But uh, uh, when you don't start the game, we talked about playing 60 minutes and having a good start, and we came out of sleeping uh, or asleep and uh, made some uh, bullhead plays early. I think what happens is it takes a while to readjust and get back in the game, and they scored early, and uh, you know, really we didn't recover until it was too late and uh, cost us the game. So we talked about it after the game that it was a good lesson learned, only if we learn from it. So we got to make sure that we do learn from it. And the best thing about hockey is we've got a game tomorrow night. You know, shot him pretty heavily heading into the uh, heading into the locker room after the second. How frustrating was it to see so many shots on goal and none of them going in? It's frustrating, but that's what happens, and uh, that's the warning that I gave them that if we don't we don't start and play at the beginning of the game and you get behind, you're going to have nights like this where you're going to have control and you're going to just hit the goalie or he's going to stone you and make some saves, and it's just not going to be your night to score goals. So these are the nights that you got to be prepared to work for 60 minutes to win 2-1. And if we would have worked from the start, we would have probably won the game 2-1. But uh, the only thing we can do now is look forward. So we, we had a real good effort in the third, and uh, it won't be lost if we come back and win tomorrow. Not much time to dwell on the loss. Maybe that's a good thing, right? That's the best thing about hockey when you play the next night. Uh, you can try and fix uh, the mistakes that you made because they're fresh in your mind. And uh, that's what we're going to look to do tomorrow night. You mentioned the slow start. Were you surprised by the number of turnovers? You guys have, have really controlled the puck well through the first two games. This didn't go that way. No, we talked about it uh, as a team. And um, we made some key points before the game, and but we didn't execute. So you can talk about them all you want, but if you don't go out and execute them on the ice when it's your turn to go out on the ice uh, and you think, oh, i got to go after you turn it over, that's too late. So hockey's such, such a fast sport that if you turn the puck over, especially as uh, uh, defending or moving backwards, then the puck's coming right down your throat. What can you say about the special teams playing in the third period? Oh, uh, good. You know what I mean? Like we killed off a penalty real well. Uh, we scored a short-handed goal on it, and uh, our power play gave us a chance game, but you know what, it was a little too late. You know what, we have to be going at the end of the game, and you can't expect to score three or four goals in the third every night. Talk a little bit about Robin's effort. He seemed to play a little better than the, the score would indicate. Just overall, what were your thoughts on him? Uh, I think he was fine. I thought he moved the puck very well again, and that's been uh, something that he's worked on this year. We've com uh, commented on that, and that really helps the defense out. Uh, I think uh, you know there's there's lots of traffic and uh, tonight he just didn't find two pucks for us. But uh, other than that, he's been solid. And sometimes those games are tougher to play when you don't get the constant uh, work. And uh, you know there's times where he, he had to stay probably mentally alert because he didn't get the work. So yeah, we were happy with him. And I think uh, the the problem was uh, the team effort at the beginning of the game. And by the time, like I said, we responded, it was too late. Uh, Jared Cowan, uh, I noticed that he left uh, left the ice in the second period. Yeah, I don't think it's anything serious, but uh, you know we'll have to wait and see how it settles down. He just kind of pulled a muscle, uh, and I think precaution when we got so many games early in the season, uh, it was just a, an easy. I think they they worked on after that first period, and it seemed to get better. But then after he was out skating and twisting, we just you could feel it. So before he popped in, we just thought we'd shut him down. I mean, how do you think uh, the five others responded uh, after he went out? Good. I thought I thought uh, at that point of the game we were going. And uh, sometimes when I know as a player, when you get more ice time, you stay more into it. And uh, I thought, I don't think we had as many turnovers in the second and third period as we did in the first. Any thoughts on, on the goaltender for tomorrow night? Uh, right now, no, we're, we haven't even talked about a lineup yet. We just... Uh, we're trying to figure out uh, what the best thing to do tomorrow morning is, whether we skate, we don't skate, rest. We'll have to check with the trainer tonight, see how everybody's feeling first, and then we'll kind of make our lineup from there. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Coach. coach. All right, thanks, thanks, Coach.